it is uh, Vlogmas week two, day one. Um, it's Saturday, December 3rd. My first Vlogmas video is going up this morning. So of course I can't put any of the footage from today into the video. Anyway, um, it's really early in the morning. I think you can probably tell by my voice, but um, I'm ready to make my weekly brew of coffee and I do a cold brew. Um, not for any particular reason, but it's just, it, I always like to wait for hot coffee to, um, cool down but I just don't have the time to wait for that in the morning because I like to drink it before I go to work so cold brew has been a really fantastic solution to that problem um, and I have a Primula, Primula um, set that I got from Macy's um, on sale like in the summertime and it was $20 and it's been so incredibly useful um, ever since I bought it so I'm going to show you what I do. I do boil a pitcher of water the night before so I can let it cool to room temperature before using it today. And then I also always use a dark roast. I've even used Folgers dark roast in the past. It is not um, strong enough for me. It kind of tastes terrible. Um, I've used medium roast in the past and it turned out really watery. So now I basically buy those um, bagged, um, the little gourmet bags of dark roast coffee because those tend to take taste the best and you want to let it sit for um, at least 24 hours outside of the refrigerator before refrigerating it so it develops its flavor. just going to sit there for a day or two and then I'm going to drink the leftover cold brew I have from last week's batch. So I took a walk in the neighborhood. I went checked out the Bath and Body Works candle day sale. Um, I was really not needing any new candles. <laughs> My favorite um, is chestnut and clove. I found a pretty good substitute or replacement for the chestnut and clove candle from Bath and Body Works. It's actually the um, cedar and juniper Bella candle from Target, and it's soy. Whereas um, Bath and Body Works, I think, is paraffin and uh, vegetable wax, which uh, whatever that is. Um, I have two backups of this. Sorry, I'm fo so out of breath. I just got back from my walk and changed, if you'd notice. It's still Saturday um, because I got all sweaty. <laughs> anyway, so I took a nice stroll. I also hit up Target and um, I went to Sephora. And here's the thing about Sephora. I'm a little miffed. Every time I go in there alone, and I would say at least the last three times I've gone in there alone. I don't go in there frequently. I tend to shop on the website but um, I got a coupon recently for um, Beauty Insiders and I was like oh let me see if I can get it in the store so I don't have to pay for shipping and all of that they didn't have what I was looking for but no one said hi to me or spoke to me and this always happens when I go alone I know I kind of I I mean I know that I look young for my age but I feel so discriminated against I mean I don't really want them to bother me but at the same time it's sort of like the whole not to liken me to a celebrity, but you know how celebrities complain about paparazzi and then when they're not there, they complain that they feel like they're not wanted or no one cares about them anymore. Sort of like that kind of feeling. Like I kind of wish they would at least say hi to me um, when I enter the store. Like a couple of them or three of them looked at me, looked away. And this has happened like the last three times I went alone. And I would say that this is okay if it were not for the fact that every time I go with one of my friends or any of my friends, I have, we have tons of people coming up to us trying to help. So does that happen to you guys? <laughs> Just let me know if you're shopping alone. Does that happen to you? 
because I'm starting to think there's something wrong with me or something. So I'm actually on my way to meet my roommate and we are going to check out some of the holiday decorations. And then the plan is to go to Dallas Barbecue. Um, so I love their drinks. They have these ginormous drinks and I like their ribs a lot, but I'm not sure what I'm going to get today. I usually go for the salad or the ribs and I haven't been in like six years. So it's, it used to be one of my favorite cheap places to eat. It's fun too. So anyway, um, hopefully I will be able to whip my camera out at some of those things. I d tend to get a little shy, especially since I'm new to this vlogging thing. Um, so we'll see, but it's kind of a touristy festive time of year. So it's a little e easier to get away with it. Sunday the 4th of December and I I didn't vlog me talking to you on camera I don't think this morning but I did shoot footage of me making tuna casserole which I suddenly had a craving for um randomly about a week ago and I've had tuna casserole maybe twice in my life and never traditionally I don't think so I made it traditionally this time and it was a little gross um, dumping the cream of mushroom soup into that whole mess. The plan today is my friend from high school is going to be coming over and we're gonna watch, finally gonna sit down and watch um, the Gilmore Girls revival because both of us were big fans of the Gilmore Girls in high school. So she's gonna be coming over soon and another big interesting piece of news is that I got all of my Black Friday purchases today. Actually, I'm missing one thing still. It's on back order, but I'm just going to show you what I did get. If you watch my um, beauty sleep review, you would have known that I already I bought this um, in earlier November, but it is part of my what I consider my Black Friday purchases. Um, I actually haven't opened this yet. I know I'll link that video down below um, if you haven't seen it. I'm not going to open it right now, but anyway, with this purchase, um, I got one of these party bags, goodie bags from Sephora, which included a bunch of samples, including this Estee Edit um, Hydrate and Glow sample pack. I think this was part of my regular online order when you get three things. Um, I think this came in it though. Fresh Vitamin Nectar Vibrancy Soothing, no, Boosting. <laughs> Vibrancy Boosting Face Mask. 
Another um, fresh product, I do like trying these. I've tried this one before though, the Rose Face Mask. And I also got this Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Volume Mascara. And this full-sized Sephora Ginseng Sleeping Mask. I made an order on OldNavy.com prior to Black Friday, I think. I can't remember anymore. I ordered two flannel shirts, which I haven't even taken out of the pack yet. I'm going to be returning this because this was called, like, Black... I don't remember if I can find my order. Anyway, the name of this product was, like, Black Plaid or Black something. And um, it's navy blue and dark green. Yeah, that's not what I was looking for. So I will be returning that. And then I ordered this jacket. It was dead cheap. It was like it's like a wool wool blend jacket for thirty five dollars. Um, but then I actually wanted it in camel. And then I went to the store. I found a store in the area that had it. And I tried it on in the smallest size, and it was still too big for me. Um, so this is a medium because it's all they had left. So I will be definitely returning that and that. I'll probably keep this one though. I've always wanted to try this ginger scalp care shampoo from the body shop so I got that during their Black Friday sale and I got this sample with that order. I also picked up this Jason moisturizing aloe vera shampoo. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite natural products so I saw this on the website and I decided I had to have it for 25% off because otherwise I picked this up from vitacost.com but um, you don't get free shipping unless it's $50 or over. I definitely don't have $50 worth of stuff to order from Vitacost anytime soon because I just made a Vitacost order. Um, I also picked up this Walita skin food. I have heard so much about this lotion since I was um, like, a, like in junior high school. I do get really dry chapped hands in the winter time. So I decided to try this out and I think it's like $9.50 or something on the website normally and then with the 25% off it came out to like eight something and this can retail for up to like I've seen it for like twenty dollars so that was a good deal and I actually tried that out already and so far so good I really do think it's superior to most including the Kiehl's um ultra ultra pear lotion that I used to like but has parabens um in it so I have chosen not to ever buy that again this is the essence contour powder um I just decided to give it a shot I'm not really big on bronzing and contouring, but decided to try out something cheap. Haven't ever tried anything from the Essence brand, so this was like $3.99 retail, I think. Came out to about $3. This is in the color light. It comes with a bronze or a contour powder and a highlighter. This smells kind of funny, a little bit like clay or something, but here it's a matte um, contour and really nice champagne-y um, highlighter. So we'll see how that works. Um, finally picked up a fake beauty blender. I've never used one of these sponges. I've never really had any purpose for it, but um, I think I might have some purpose for it now. So I've got a Real Techniques one. These are baby ornaments if you can't tell. Um, I just really like the color combination, but you know, I didn't think... I tend to want more of a uniform color uh, for the big tree, but I figure if I ever get a tiny tree, this would be really nice. This is just... this. these are all glass ornaments, and they're just so nice looking. They're really whimsical but kind of classy looking and they are really retro like um, they remind me of you know maybe the 50s or 60s or something but this was eight, this is 18 pieces and only six dollars from the wonder shop at target so i thought that was a pretty good deal um, and then I picked up some, oh, of course I got my camera and because I got a new camera I decided to get some more um, memory cards 64 gigs, two of these, and then just to get free shipping, I ordered one of these um, battery chargers, the portable ones. I ordered this beautiful leather jacket from Mango. I've always wanted a biker style um, leather jacket, but something that's still pretty feminine. So I was reading some reviews on Mango's um, leather jackets online and they said they're really high quality but they fit kind of small so I ended up getting the US size small which is apparently the European and UK and Mexico medium um, it is so soft and buttery and it doesn't smell too leathery I just love this jacket but the thing is um, it's too long on me and a little bit too big I think I should have gone with the extra small but unfortunately um, they are sold out of this 
style online now. So um, I'm probably going to return this. I picked up another one of these Maybelline uh, Fit Me concealers in the color Sand. I totally forgot to mention this. This is the one I got last time. Probably should have gotten it one shade lighter because um, while this is good for my blemishes, it does oxidize and... Um, and I can't really use this during the winter time if I want to do under eye concealing. Let me show you what it looks like um, in comparison to the current Fit Me that I have. These two are exactly the same color. 20 Sand Sable. This one I've had for a while and look at the color difference. It has oxidized so much. It's just like way more orangey brown. And it's left a mess. Yeah, these containers, I haven't even opened this yet and it's already like seeping through and yeah, they should improve the containers but um other than that i really do like the formula of this and i will repeatedly buy this although i should try a lighter shade next time this is our gilmore girl marathon dinner we decided to go for something that lorelei and rory might eat this <laughs> this was supposed to be a buffalo chicken pizza <laughs> apparently some of the cheese absconded <laughs> And then this is loaded nachos with jalapenos and bacon and loaded cheese. Fries. Oh, fries. What did I say? Nachos. Oh. Which would be also very good yes. for Aussie. That's true. I think they would have gotten more for fries. And then we got we have two bottles of wine. Also, this looks like a painting. It does. I think it... Mm, they painting a five? Yeah, maybe they photo like used a Photoshop filter thingy. It definitely looks like a painting. I know. Alright, and there's our wine. Oh. They're doing a recap. Three minutes and 18 seconds in and we had a food dropping incident and two bathroom trips. Uh oh. Wardrobe. Oh, it's not that bad though on camera. Yes. Wardrobe malfunction already. <laughs> Alright, back to the video. We're gonna get through this. <laughs> Almost 10 minutes in. There's been a second food mishap. <laughs> Let's see. 9.30. the washing of the shirt up to here. <laughs> this pizza is just falling apart. Yes. And it's not very good either. It's probably from Al's Pancake World. <laughs> <laughs> It's 11.30 and I just finished the Gilmore Girls revival and all I can say is WTF. I mean, I did not see that ending coming. And now I need to get ready for bed because I need to be up in a few hours for work. Yeah. Today is December 5th, Monday. I got home from work. So um, tonight, I think my roommate and I are going to put up the Christmas tree. But let me just show you um, what the area looks like. This is the stash of boxes from all my Black Friday purchases, more or less. And this is the tree I settled on. I'm just never satisfied with any of the artificial trees that are offered. So I just didn't want to pay a lot of money for a tree that I wasn't going to be happy about anyway. This is quite a cheap tree. It was under $30 at Target. And it's obviously like plasticky, metal-like almost. But anyway, we'll see what it looks like once it's set up. And then, you know, got some of these ornament hangers. But I talked to my roommate ahead of time and she said that she wanted to go for a gold theme. So I got this 42 count glass ornament set. I ordered yet another set of these and another 42. This, um, I think in the future, if I'm living alone or whatever, I want to do a red and gold tree. And then I ordered, um, I, I looked it up on the internet, how many lights you're supposed to have on a six foot tree. And they said um, about a hundred, at least a hundred lights per foot. 
Um, and then if you want to make it look extra cozy, you should do more lights. So I got 750 <laughs> lights. And now I'm thinking I need to get a tree skirt because I don't want these ornaments to fall down and shatter. Mm -hmm. 